Espy, and welcome back to my channel, Espy in the City. I am on a DIY kick as of late. Woo! Projects, projects, projects. This is a fun one. For those of you that don't like to sew, this project is definitely for you. We're going to be recreating the 2020 Fendi Joshua Vitas collection. It's a fun, all-white cartoon outline trend. Now, if you have the $17,000 to spend on this original cardigan, then you're living your best life. But if you're like me and you want to live your best life saving that 17 k this project is definitely for you. So let's jump in. We're going to start off with the supplies. You're going to need masking tape or painter's tape, black acrylic paint, fabric medium. This sort of helps the paint to keep on the piece of clothing so when you put it in the wash, it doesn't come off or mix in with your other clothes. And paint brushes, I just got these from the dollar store. I picked something that was very thin that would draw nice straight lines and a white cardigan or a white item of clothing that you have. Something to mix your paint in, I just used a disposable plate and a plastic sheet or trash bag to paint on top of. I just did it on my countertop because I knew that the paint wouldn't stick on it, but if you're painting on somewhere that you, that you want to be mindful of because the fabric medium it does make it stick to fabric, then you're going to want to use a trash bag or a plastic sheet. You're going to want to start off by mixing equal parts acrylic paint and fabric medium. Like I mentioned, the fabric medium will help the paint stay put and not get onto the other clothes in the wash. Once your medium is integrated into the paint, then you're ready to go. I feel like this project is pretty straightforward, so instead of taking you guys step by step, I'm going to give you guys some tips that I learned while doing this. Number one, go slow. Take your time. You don't want to get unintentional drops of paint on the fabric. This was a really nice relaxing project for me. I turned on some Brooklyn Nine-Nine and just started painting. Number two, do the front one day, let it dry overnight before you do the back. Especially if you're doing a cardigan like me, it takes a minute for the paint to dry in the ribbing. It just sort of soaks it up and even to the touch when you, you know, check to see if it's dry, it feels dry, but some of it is still sort of wet, especially if you're using a thick woven fabric like a cardigan. So I advise to just let the front dry overnight, then flip it over to the back and do the back the next day. Next is follow the natural lines of the garment. Outline details like pockets, darts, cuffs, collars, button plackets, etc. I kept the Fendi one up as a reference while I was painting. Next is when you're doing the, I guess you can call them shadow lines, make sure they're going in the same direction. Think of, you know, the light coming from one way or the other and the lines sort of aligning with that. So if you start off making them go to the lower right, make sure they all go to the lower right. Or if they're going to the lower left, make sure they're all going to the lower left. Oh, I like that hand painted look, so don't stress if your lines are a little thick or a little thin in some areas. You can definitely go back and make them more even, but the only time I really used the painter's tape was when I was doing that quilting effect on the sleeves, only because it was the only thing I had that wasn't already there. Everything else I was really just using the paint to accentuate. So don't stress too much about the unevenness of it. That's sort of um, the charm to this effect that it looks like it has been painted on. I wanted to add something about the quilted sleeves. Like I mentioned, this was the only thing I added that wasn't already part of the cardigan. I took my painter's tape and spaced them out about two inches apart on a diagonal. Because the fabric soaked up the paint really fast, I was able to take the tape off almost immediately without it transferring or smudging. After one set of lines were completed, I made another set going the opposite direction to make a square so it looks quilted. On the original cardigan, Joshua did a scalloped sort of box, but my painting techniques aren't that great, so I went for more of a straight box so I could follow the tape. If you've got a really good hand, you can go for the scallop quilted look or even try another shape. I definitely like the quilted look on the sleeves, but I do want to try it next time on the main part of the jacket. So if you guys try this and flip the quilted part, tag me because I'm dying to see what this looks like. And last, 
have fun. Add as much or as little as you like. If you're a little uneasy, maybe just do the collar and the button placket and like the edge of the sleeves. And if you want to really go hard in, do everything. Do every seam line, do every button, all of it. So this is a fun project because you could add as much or as little as you like. And that's it. Here's the finished product. How cool is this? I am addicted to this trend. I want to do it to everything white in my closet. I can't wait till it's warm enough in LA to wear a sweater so I can wear this out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I post every other Friday because I work full time, but turn on that notification bell because I will be uploading some extra videos here and there and I want to make sure that you guys catch them. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye!